Hello, I'm not a part of Jack and Dax the Precursor Legacy. This time we are doing Sentinel Beach. So what are we doing in Sentinel Beach? Well, we do know we have to deal with Sage's eco vent bullshit that he wants us to do from the very get-go after the fucking tutorial, fucking part one. But we're not doing that just yet. We're doing that way later in the part, in fact. What we are doing is we're gonna get some more precursor orbs, some more scout flies, and some more power cells in other places. For instance, around here there's a power cell over by a hill. There it is! There's the fucking pill. Let's get back the cannons and get that. Hey! That pelican just snagged a power cell! Let's go kick some big bird butt! Dexter is not a fan of birds, apparently. Those all metal boxes are thicker than a yak owl skull! But there must be something that can bust them open! Hey, he's also not a fan of shutting the fuck up! But yes, in order to get these precursor orbs, we have to break them with something heavier than our punches. And luckily, we have some like that, because right now this fucker is shooting bags of explosive at us, so... There you go. Yep, all you have to do is lure his shots right to the boxes and let him explode them. There you go, done. One little box here that is a bit far away, but easily I can get that by just staying in a little close spot by the box, and yeah, he'll hit it. There you go. And there you go, that's all the boxes. Not only that, but around here in this little corner is Power Cell. At least we got one Power Cell so far on this beach. But yeah, that bird. We're gonna have to deal with him very soon. Not now, though, but soon. Now, we're gonna go ahead and get some more of these precursor orbs, as well as get over to this island over here. It's not only has some more precursor orbs, but also has a scout fly here. So, might as well go ahead and get that right now. Or some of these dog things, too. So, let's just go ahead and grab this shit. Oh hey, it's the old woman, the old lady. Where is she? I don't, I don't see her anywhere. I don't know where she is. Yeah, she's kind of invisible right now until I go and deal with her little egg bird problem. We'll deal with that later. Uh, again, way later. But right now, we're just gonna continue on and deal with the real bullshit which is getting these precursor orbs and also some in some water right now because some of these precursor orbs will appear underwater and in order to get them we have to do a thing called diving so there you go you don't have to dive by the way if you want and if you can you can get the blue eco vent uh, use the blue eco to simply swim around and grab them real quickly. But most of you didn't go to the forest now, did you? Yeah, there is a blue eco vent, but unfortunately the blue eco vent has been blocked. Because, you know, we didn't do that. If we didn't do that thing, it would be blocked. By the way, there was some odds behind a waterfall, which is a trope that continues to this very day, I believe. But yeah. If you actually want to, you know, get this all quickly, you would have had to gone the blue eco vent open. Which if you didn't do the forest, it's not open. So, you should have done the forest first, but of course the game fucked you and said go to the beach. And you went there and now you can't get anything because you have to go to the forest next to actually get the thing open. And now you just wasted a whole bunch of time going back and forth. Why what I did was smarter. By the way, you don't have to actually need the pen to break these boxes. You can actually land on them when you do these fucking jump pads. It breaks them open just like that. Why am I going this way, by the way? Why am I breaking all these boxes? Well, outside of game more precursor ores, if you need them, there's also that cannon fucker. And that guy's annoying because he's another one of those lurkers. So what do I do? Well, you can go down and smack him, or you can land right on top of his head and kill him instantly. Like so. There you go, done. Kill this buddy over here and get the pre get the power cell. That's uh, not that easy to talk now, is it? Anyway, 
We uh, have the cannon all to ourselves now. We can use it for whatever we want. I mean, we can look around. We can shoot anything. We can also kill the uh, the fucking bird who has our power Get cell. Some. Get some. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm going to do this the actual way. Because while you can just kill the fucker and it is an option, I kind of want to show you how fast I can go and how fast you can about go with just chasing after the power cell. You're not going to have his mouth. By the way, behind here are some more just orbs, and around here are some birds. Seagulls! Let's buzz them for kicks. Yeah, we have a lot of fucking birds in this place. And yeah, we're just gonna piss off some birds. <laughs> Daxter is really into pissing off some seagulls and getting stuck in walls. So yeah, another power cell just right here, out in the open. And then, we will find not only the last of the uh, pelican chasing bullshit right here, but we'll also find some more precursor orbs. And by chasing them away, we get this. Wow! They caused an avalanche! Let's check it out! We'll check it out later on, but not right now, because around here, there's going to, uh be some pillars. These pillars uh, have some precursor orbs around them, and not only that, but they are something that we can hit. Now, why do we want to hit them? Well, because you can, and we need to, for 100% reasons. So here comes the uppercut. We don't do a whole lot of uppercut in this game. But uh, there are instances where we have to uppercut something, and it's one of those instances. So, uppercut to both of them three times, and they should be fully up from that point. Now, we're actually going to go over to where the power cell is and the rock that we took down, because apparently the birds, the fucking seagulls, can cause an avalanche. I have no idea how that works. But first, before I do that, I'm going to take some blue eco, use this, and then go over to that fucking bird that took our power cell the first time. And hey, another one of those fucking caches. Let's get the house out of it. Quick! We have to get to the power cell before the pelican scoops it up again! And I turn it just right so I can easily get this as fast as possible. Like so. I can't get it fast if I didn't hit that fucking rock, but there you go. Absolutely like fucking butter almost. So now we're gonna go ahead and get some more precursor orbs. We're gonna get this power cell that that rock hit for some reason, I guess. I have no idea why the birds caused an avalanche. I have no idea why that happened. It just did. And hey, there's those eco fans that are blocked that the stage wants to unblock. We'll deal with that a little later on, but right now, here's those pillars. Why do I have you smack the pillars up? Because not only are there some more precursor orbs, but these islands you can't really reach normally, except for this one, you can easily reach this one normally, uh, if you do some decent jumping around. Uh, but there are also two scout flies you can get from doing this, so let's get them all, shall we? Okay, now we're gonna deal with the sage's bullshit. And, uh, yeah, they're green eco vents, these ones. Green eco vents are kind of rare, but they do put your health to absolute full, which is good. And, uh, they will be having some use outside of your new health later on. But right now, let's break them open and get us some power cell, which is hidden in one of these, which for me is this one. And there you go, we're done. I'm sure the Sage will be very pleased to know that we did the thing he wanted us to do. The fuck it. Well, I see that you two have finally decided to unblock my collectors. I would offer my congratulations, but you have so much to do, I won't waste your time. By the way, if things don't work out, Daxter could always get a job controlling the village rat problem. <laughs> 
Sage is a dick. Also, I got all the fucking scout flies, so I got them not a bow cell. Good. And by the way, we are close to where the egg is. I'm gonna go ahead and run over here to get this cache. And got it. Yep. Just a little Sure. Oh, good. Now push it. Oh, gently now. Okay. Right. That wasn't gentle. Yes, it was. Careful. Easy does it. Good job. Now meet me down here by the egg. Got it. Oh, my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. You're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom. You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys, I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her. And there you go. We got the flood flood. And not only that, but we got all the power cells in Sentinel Beach and the precursor orbs and the scout flies. It means we are 100% done at the beach. I will never come back here again. See, I did everything. Got all the shit. I also went ahead and, you know, unblocked the Ecos. Got the flood flood, got the power cell. Got the seagulls done, you know, did the thing. Got that shit, got that shit. And got the scout flies. Not only that, but back at the forest, got to fucking do this. Got the eco beams. We got the fucking top of the temple. We got the blue vent. We got the dark eco plant done. Got the 200 pounds of fish. That's a lot of fucking fish. We also got this shit down the canyon. And we got the lock temple door open, as well as the scout flies. So there you fucking go. That's the bullshit done. Now you're thinking that we're gonna just get close to ending the part here and then, you know, that's it, right? Because next up will be fucking Misty Island. But, not yet. As you see, I have done quite a bit so far in all these areas. Uh, Good! You've collected enough power cells to fuel my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells, and hurry! My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Thanks for interrupting me, Kira, you bitch. So yeah, we have all the power cells needed for the zoomer. So we can actually move on to the second area of the game, which I'm not going to yet. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to get some more of these caches open. I'm going to get some more of these precursor orbs. So I have 50 in the fucking village. I'm also getting a little bit of the power cells around here because, you know, these areas are close to the forest and the beach. And there's no reason for me to ever go near these again. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all the shit done that is around these areas, like very close to these areas. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. Yep, that fucker over there. Also, Kira, you can just get these fucking flies yourself. I don't have to get them for you. Anyway, this is the Oracle. The Oracle will have a bigger purpose later on in the game. So right now, his only purpose is to give us power cells to be very fucking ominous and shit. So let's go talk to him. This must be a precursor Oracle like the Sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the Oracle? Wait. One of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. That's 240 precursor orbs, he has two power cells. Yes, he's an expensive cunt, but we have to fucking do it anyway, so let's go ahead and just give him the shit. For your gift, another power cell is yours. That's one of them, and that's 120 of our precursor orbs gone. And now we gotta lose the other 120. You have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. And there you go. We'll be seeing this oracle every fucking homeworld, and he will always ask for 120 precursor orbs for two fucking power cells. So yeah, he's the most expensive prick because you'll be spending 240 precursor orbs for him. He's an asshole. 
And again, he'll serve a bigger purpose later on, which he's also an asshole then. Right now, though, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these, you know, get that completed, because once we grab all of these, that should be all 50 of these precursor orbs. There you go. Done. We're not done yet, though, because we have a power cell that we can go ahead and deal with by talking to the farmer guy over here. Which I will do after getting his scout flight in his room. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk to him about his little problem. Ooh, gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those Henri cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man try to get him back into the corral? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll go ahead and help you out. So, about the yak owls. You only have to do this once in the entire game. You never have to lure these fuckers ever again. Uh, there isn't really an instance where you ever have to do this again anyway. And, uh, yeah. This isn't a very fun one. It's just kind of boring and long. But, hey. Once you're done, you get a power cell out of it. So, I mean... But, yeah. This is, uh... This is the entire thing. You just go ahead and you fucking... Yeah, this is one of the le my least liked ones. But this is one of the tower cells I'm just like, fucking really now. I really don't like it. I really fucking don't. It's a really shit objective. Once you get all five of them in there, you're pretty much done. You can talk to the old guy again and get a power cell. So, might as well just get it over with. Into the pen you go. That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. And we will. Ah, oh, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. And of course he sleeps again. You didn't see that one coming. Now, I wanted to go and show you this thing that the PS2 usually did where it would knock you down around the birdhouse because you were loaded and shit, but the PS4 couldn't do this, and also, this when fucking happens. Hurry up with those power cells! I'm waiting at the head of Fire Canyon, at the top of the cliff behind the farmer's house! Shut up, Kira! Right. One more guy I talked to before we're done here, so let's get the scout fly over here and then talk to the guy because he is important for right now for the next part. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island, are we? Yes, Dexter, we are. We'll be going back to Misty Island next time. We'll also finish off Sandra Village next time as well, because even though I got a whole bunch of these scout flies, like about five of them, and even though I went and got all the fucking precursor orbs and I did some of the uh, power cells, I'm not finishing this village. I just went ahead and, you know, did all the shit that's close to these two areas you've already done. I will be finishing off this village after Misty Island. Because we'll be done by then. We're not done yet, though. We have to take this boat that we got from the fishermen back in the forest to get all the way to Misty Island. And if you watched in a play of me playing Jack and Dexter beforehand, you already know about me and Misty Island and the fact that I've always had this fucking level beforehand so I know what I'm doing. But, for now, there are going to be some changes I can mention 
next time. But for now, that's it for this part. So, here we are. We're at Misty Island. Let's get close to the spawn point where the demo started us. And, uh, yeah. Let's end the part right there. Oh, this place gives me the creeps. Then trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz. Thanks, Dexter. But yes, next time on Dragon Dexter the Precursor Legacy, we'll be going to Misty Island. And uh, we'll also be finishing off Sandra Village, because even though I did some of these other things here, we're not exactly done with that yet. We'll be, doing that. we'll be finishing that off next time. But right now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time when we deal with Misty Island. See you then.